Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of a callback function, which is a common concept amongst programming languages and especially you will find that with JavaScript. Now, before we start using jQuery, let's get uh, to understand the concept of that because in jQuery, there will be a lot of places where you will see this happening, which is a kind of callback. Like here, this is the jQuery method ready and inside that there is a function fine and this is referred as a callback function which basically means that this will be executed this piece of code up to here this function this code will be executed only once this has actually completed its work now let's try to understand what it means here then we will be discussing in the next video what this document dot ready is there and what's the purpose of that so here i have made an example in javascript where i have two functions now a callback function basically executes its functionality first and then it executes the function which is called through it in simple terms in javascript generally when we call a function fine like over here i have called a function fine on click i am calling this function my cb function which which is being passed with two parameters so in javascript we are actually allowed to pass a function as a parameter now depending upon how you pass the function as a parameter to this calling function this particular function this is the function which is being passed as a parameter how you pass this uh, makes it behave in different ways now the point is of a callback function is that first i want this function to complete its work based on this parameter that has been passed or whatever is the actual functionality of this functions functions may or may not take parameters but one of the parameters that is being passed to this function is the name of another function so what should happen is this function should complete its functionality first and then this function should get executed that's a callback function fine so here what happens is these functions are to be written in a manner so that they can handle the callback function fine now here i have written it in three different ways i will be explaining them one by one first let's have a look at how the callback function is written or a function which is capable of handling another function as callback again i will reiterate that this function first will execute its own work then it will run this function fine whatever is this function my other function so my cb function means my callback function this function can run another function as a callback so here this is the description of the function called as my callback function where the two parameters are being passed the second parameter generally we name it as a callback for understanding so when someone will click on this button this one center one a value 20 will get transferred to this and this name gets transferred to this particular place fine now here the functionality of this program is just showing a pop-up says i am a pop-up from this function and you pass the value x once this functionality is completed we call the callback function so here this callback is my other function so after this pop-up comes up we call this function and this function is here where my other function which says alert i am a pop-up from other function and it just updates the inner html of this particular one fine so now see what happens is you can call this function directly now this function once this is called directly this inner html will change directly so on the first button if i click it this gets updated directly so we see the output of this on the second button we want to use this as a callback that means this should be called only after this function is completed fine so this concept has many utilizations like we are waiting for some work to happen and then only the other function or work should happen so in this case 
to call another function or pass it as a parameter you will pass the regular parameters as it is obviously you need some documentation or understanding of your function that what is this parameter and the second parameter when passing as a function name it's just to be passed as the name of the function fine no brackets are to be associated with it like normally when you call a function you call it like this the parentheses are associated with it and you can pass the parameters in this case we are not passing it here we are just passing the name of the function as a parameter over here fine so when this one is called first this function the callback our my cb function my callback function executes itself its code and then it calls the other function which is here fine try to understand this value will be the name of the function which we have passed so this function gets executed after the execution of the primary function now interestingly if you do the same thing by mistake you write this my other function over here like this fine what is going to happen in this case this function will get executed first its output will be used as a parameter for this function obviously in this case if you look up the errors and all in the uh, console window and other things you will find that a error shows up over here because this is this will not be a name of the function the, there will be no output of this function as such so it goes empty so technically when you will be having a callback function obviously you will pass a function name as a parameter but keep in mind that if you pass uh, this is also allowed passing a function as a parameter but utilizing its output suppose this function needed two parameters but one of the parameters was the output of something i can use it over here so this is perfectly fine but if this is the requirement here the output will be replaced whatever is the output of this but if you want to use this as a callback function where this function actually allows us to run it as a callback we just use it as its name now let's run this and see what happens so here i have three things so click here to call my function directly so that's the first button click here to call my function my other function so my other function simply updates the inner html of h2 which is or this h3 which is here so if i reload this page and click on this you can see i am a pop up from my other function and this gets updated fine now let's reload this page again now what we are going to do is now we are going to use the callback mechanism over here fine in the callback mechanism what happens is i pass a parameter 20 and my other function as a parameter so first you will see a pop up from the callback function over here and then this another pop up comes second from my other function which will be the callback and then this gets updated so here when i click on this you see a pop up i am a pop up from my cb function you pass the value 20 fine the second value now will be once i click on okay will be used to run the callback function where you will see this getting updated so here when i click on this fine it goes to the my other function which has been called now after the execution of the previous one and here when i say okay this gets updated so this is how the callback is working again i would like to emphasize callback functions are written specially in this manner so that the callback happens each and every function does not or may not support your callback now finally to this point of understanding if i use this my cb function 20 comma my other function like this my other function this is my other function as such does not return any value fine uh, we, what you will see is that my other function gets executed first in this case fine and here let's run this now when i click here you will see i'm a pop-up from my other function that gets executing first and then uh, the actual function gets executed which means first the parameter this is being replaced and then these two values are passed here so it is not going to work as a callback but it's just going to work as a function which is expecting two parameters and one of the parameters is going to come from this particular function over here fine so one point that i wanted to add over here in this video was that callback function 
you can write it in anonymous way that means you really don't need to declare it like when we'll be working with jquery many places will be doing the same thing and uh, you'll be having a look at that so like sometimes you need to run some piece of code which is your own small piece of part fine it is not a predefined function or not necessarily it is available as a predefined function so in that case what we can do is over here like if we run this we have already seen this fine when you be run this from the second button the my other function is executed later on right we know that okay so let me reload this place page here when i click this this is from the first one and this is from the second one fine so now what i want is that i want to execute or i want to have my own piece of code i don't want to define it as this thing because defining the function here means i want to use it again and again so what i can do is i can write it here it as an anonymous function by using functioner and here inside these curly brackets will be declaration of my function so i'll here simply say alert and in my alert let's just put hello from my function okay something like this so here this is written now so now this is also going to work in the same manner this will be my callback function which i have directly written over here and this is the main function that will get executed so let's try out this so here when i click on this obviously the my cb function works for the initial part and then i click on okay here it says hello from my own function so this way you can like add your own function directly over here with using the anonymous function keyword function and declare the function here itself so this way you can have the anonymous function usage and this is what is the purpose and usage of an anonymous function fine so we'll continue further in the next video